What up, HyperChange? Welcome to another episode. Today, we're talking about potential huge growth in Tesla's battery or energy storage business. Um, it's about 1130, almost midnight here in Manhattan, but I got this interesting scoop, um, some crazy footage and pictures to share with you guys. So I just had to make this episode. Um, but basically, I've been contacted through the internet, Twitterverse, um, by someone who lives in Australia, who's driving along the freeway and noticed Tesla semi-trailer trucks full of power packs, just tons and rows and rows of power packs on trucks being shipped to somewhere, um, figured out that those power packs were being shipped to the Hornsdale Battery Reserve or around that area, um, which is where Tesla had previously installed in early 2018 what was the world's largest battery. Um, this was a whole thing on Twitter where Elon Musk partnered with the Australian government, basically bet them that he could install this battery in 100 days or less, actually came through for Tesla or actually came through for the government, installed the battery, all the reports indicated that the financial decision of the government to work with Tesla came at a, was a huge, huge win. Um, they were saving millions of dollars almost off the bat from this new technology that essentially allowed the batteries to respond to grid outages instantly, pump power back into the grid instead of having these really costly peaker plants go online. Um, so this was a, a huge improvement to the energy infrastructure of Australia as a whole. And now it looks like they're actually significantly expanding that project and, and ramping it up in a huge way. This is a big deal because this was the big biggest and first use case or sort of validation of Tesla's grid scale battery technology. Like I said, at the time, it was the world's largest battery. Um, the customer, the South Australian government was amazed at, at how it was working, was saving money from it. And so now it looks like they placed this follow on order. Um, so I'm literally, I, I'll show you the footage right now, but literally like trucks and trailers full worth of these power packs, just to put in context, the size of this, the truck driver who was driving these, these semi-trailer trucks with all the power packs on it said it was their sixth load. Um, they had 31 more to go. And each load is one truck, which has two trailers. Each trailer's each trailer is 45 feet long. This is like something you would never see in America. Apparently only Aust exists in like Australia. These just massive trucks. Um, each trailer has about nine power packs. So I did some quick math. Nine power packs times two trailers times 37 trucks was about 666 power packs. But some of those are going to be inverters. So maybe it's only 500 or 600 power packs um, plus inverters that Tesla is actually getting revenue for. Um, so I'll let you guys do the calculations. I even got this picture of the specs of those batteries. Um, so you can tell me if they're different from the previous batteries that Tesla had installed uh, for the Australian government. Also worth noting that these were not mega packs, but they were the power packs. So it'll be interesting to see if Tesla also ships some mega packs to Australia. But yeah, what does this mean? Why is this a big deal? Let's take a look at Tesla's energy storage deployments. Q1 2018, their battery uh, energy generation megawatt hours deployed, saw a huge increase. It was a record quarter. That was because of this huge battery in South Australia. And then if we dive into the 10Q that Tesla filed for Q1 2018, you can say they specifically note that this South Australia project generated 72.5 million in revenue alone. So the point being here at a high level, we have these massive packs of power packs getting shipped to Australia. It looks like the Hornsdale Battery Reserve, what was already the biggest battery, is going underway with a huge expansion, potentially 500 to 600 power packs. Just the land mass that is being cleared to put these new batteries on looks about as big as the size where the previous batteries are. So that indicates it could be as big or even bigger of a project than we saw before. The last project was 73 million in revenue. So all in all, it looks like the South Australian government is extremely pleased with the work that Tesla's technology is doing. They have placed a huge follow-on order, potentially 50, 100, or 150 million. This is going to lead to dramatic energy storage deployment growth um, from Tesla's financials and from a megawatt hours deployed perspective, either in Q4 or Q1 2020. I'm sure we're going to get an official announcement either from Australia or from Tesla about this soon, but you heard it here first on HyperChange. Huge shout out to the person who hooked me up with these photos and this info. I think, you know, Tesla's energy generation and storage business has been a huge back burner as the Model 3 and the, and the car business has taken off. But what's happened quietly in the background is the South Australian government with that huge battery in Hornsdale validated that this technology, that Tesla's core battery technology is not only working for cars, but it's working to fix the grid and get that off fossil fuels. And now that same government is placing another massive follow-on order. And I think we're just getting started. The, the opportunity to fix Australia's grid for Tesla is in the hundreds of millions, potentially billions alone. Imagine if this business 
starts to spread to other countries. So it's extremely encouraging to see these early customers place huge follow on orders. So yes, this will be a bump to energy revenue in the near term. Uh, you know, we only did about 400 million last quarter. So if they recognize 100 million in one quarter, we could see that growth rate spike. But what it means for validating the technology is potentially even bigger. Anyway, would love to know what you think in the comments below about this project. What is going on? I mean, it's all speculation. Is Tesla expanding the Hornsdale battery plant? You know, what are they working on? How are they doing it? Let me know all of your theories below. This is Hyperchange. Huge shout out to our Patreon supporters, producers, fun on the channel. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.